Good morning, Fly Delta Virtual Pilots. Uh, this is Tom Putzke, Vice President of Operations, and uh, this video is on how to uh, bid and start a flight uh, with Fly Delta Virtual. It's for anyone that wants to, uh, you know, might be a new pilot, might be a pilot that's been flying for a long time. This is my particular way of how I start a flight. Uh, you can pick and choose which parts you like the best, but it does give a good sense of um, the parts that are are required and maybe some parts that are optional. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, today's flight will be from uh, KORD to KMSP, which is um, um, Chicago to Minneapolis. And the first step is to go onto the crew site and bid it. Now, if you don't want to go this way, we can go, you know, we can use black box virtual when we're in the sim. Um, which is no problem and you can schedule um, you can pick out a flight there or you can do a charter flight right from inside our black box virtual a car system so i'm now going to the crew site i'm going to go to flight operations uh, i could use the itinerary generator to generate a series of flights uh, 5 10 or 15 but for today's example we're going to use book a flight and uh, I'm going to go from, uh, <clears throat> as I mentioned, KORD to KMSP. As you can see, there's a series of flights that are available. <clears throat> um, I can choose one that I'm going to be flying with my A320. But for display purposes today, I'm going to uh, choose one that does not have an A320. So I can show you how we can change that. Um, we don't require that you fly with the same plane that's used for the flight. You can if you want. Um, some um, pilots are more, uh, um, um, you know, more restri more strict on, on which uh, plane they use. But for our purposes, we're going to use uh, um, an A320. So now, after I've bid the flight, I'm going to go to current bids, and as you can see, the bid is there. I'm going to uh, schedule a briefing. That's the next step. And as you can see, I have the aircraft of uh, A712, but I'm going to be flying the <clears throat> A320. I got a little bit of a cold. Please bear with me. Actually, I don't think it's cold. I think it's uh, the fact that my house is a little dry from the, the winter. I have a sip of coffee. Um, the next thing I want to do, we can use the route that will automatically be generated by SimBrief, but um, what I like to do is to see what's going on in the real world. So I go to a pro, uh, site called FlightAware and um, put in my flight. So I'm going to go from KORD to KMSP. And there's kind of a flight going on right now, or it just arrived. So we're going to use, I'm going to use that one as an example. Um, I could use the SkyWest flight. Um, I could use one that's scheduled in 50 minutes. That's another good one. Um, but for today, I'm just going to use the, for example purposes, I'm going to click the 2833. <clears throat> and the main things I want to get from here are the gate and the route. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in the route by doing a copy and paste. So this is the route that's, I guess, really happening in the real world right now, and that's what I'm interested in. So I'm going to go here and put in the route. Now we're going to hold off on the gates until later, um, and then we'll be putting those in. So there's the route. I'm going to generate the briefing for the A320. And while that's uh, clicking away, uh, I'm going to show you where I'm going to be putting the information once I have it, <clears throat> which is uh, I keep a Notepad++ template uh, where I just uh, keep that aside while I'm flying and while I'm in flight preparation. So it has all the information I need from flight plan to gates and everything else. So um, our sim brief is finished over here. So what I'm going to do is copy uh, this corner here of information. And I'm just going to paste it right over my previous flight, just like that. I'm going to leave the first line. Um, I'm going to be Delta 1702. You can change that to whatever you want if you like to. I usually just fly the same one. Um, and I'm going to be looking at uh, the cost index down below. 
So the next thing I copy and paste is down here. Uh, just this little section, the flight plan down to the block fuel. And I put that in. Sometimes there's a little line hang over here and I like to just keep it all on the same line. So I'll put it up there. And so this is all the information I need for my flight from block fuel, um, the flight plan. And now the last piece is the gate. So that's where I use flight aware again. Up at the top, we have E7. There's a spot for the gate there. And we're going to be at C4 on the way down. So C4 is the arrival gate. And that's all I need from the crew site and from the, uh, um, the flight aware. The next step is to uh, run a program that I created here. And I'll go through this a little bit quickly. I'll show you. Um, it basically just, uh, it's a update flight plan dot command I created to remove any existing uh, saves and plans. And it will then run the SimBrief downloader to generate another one. So when we run it, uh, I have selected the FS2020. And another one that's very important is the vPilot um, for loading. Uh, you know, based on your uh, setup and your simulator, you may have different ones checked here. The next thing is to do export and close and then close this window out. And one note I'd like to say is uh, make sure you've already, I, I always like to restart my system before I do a flight because it's easier. Um, you know, it's, I think it's a much better uh, way to do things. But at this point, uh, we have generated all we need from the plans using SimBrief. Um, we're now ready to enter the simulator. So uh, I'm going to take a short break while we load, and I'll be right back. I think while my uh, simulator is loading here, I'd like to cover one other um, piece to the puzzle. Uh, remember, we talked about my, my program here. Um, uh, as far as runways, uh, SimBrief will generate the runways for you. Um, but I like to use a program uh, called uh, FAA Digital ATIS uh, a website here. And I put in the, uh, the uh, places where I'm departing from and stuff like that. So like here, we're, we're departing from KORD. And as you can see right now, the departing runways are 22 left and 28 right. Uh, I will add those to the uh, flight plan as options uh, when I am, you know, after I've loaded my simulator, I want to, you know, probably use the one they gave me, but I, I also have an alternative, plus the controllers may give me a different one, or wind conditions may have changed. So the other airport was KMSP, and... Uh, sometimes they have two things, departure and arrival. I'm going to be doing the arrival there. And the visual approach 30 left and 30 right are in use. So we are going to be uh, using uh, those at this time. So 30 left and 30 right. If I put those in, um, 30 left is already in there. And I'll be able to put in 30 right, just in case that ends up being a better runway for me. So at this time, um, I basically just load my flight. Uh, each simulator is different at this point. So I'm going to stop now and uh, pick it up once the simulator is loaded. You know, I'm back. I think what we're going to do is I am going to go through the process of loading this. Now, this is going to be different for each simulator, but it might help the people um, that are using uh, 2020. And everybody has their own method. But what I do is I go to world map, you know, make sure you have the airplane selected that you want, and then click uh, more here, and you've got the option to load. So we want to load our flight plan, which is KORD to KMSP. Select open. Now, the thing you got to make sure you do here is we have to change to the gate. We don't want to, you know, be on the runway when we start our sim. So the gate was E7. 
Uh, sometimes the simulator will have the gate and sometimes it will not. Um, but if you can't find it, then a lot of times I'll just choose a gate that's near it. Now I, I happen to have E7, but um, if I had to go to E9 or I had to go to F10, it, it, I guess, you know, it's it's not a big deal. But I'm going to try to go from the one that was in the uh, being flowing now. So I'm going to gate E7. And that's all I really change here. Um, I don't do too much with the other side. I just start at gate E7. I know I'm going to C4 at uh, Minneapolis. And just click fly. And uh, I'll see you in just a little while. All right, we are back, and as you can see, we are uh, we are ready to fly. So anyway, let me uh, load in, and I'll show you uh, the rest of this. I'm not going to get too much into um, you know the plane here because this is more of an instruction for all simulators. So it was just important that I get into the simulator um, so that um, we can. Uh, Gener uh, do the black box virtual in the V pilot. That's so. Here I am. I'm I'm cold and dark at the gate. This is where I start, and I start my black box virtual and V pilot right at this time, so I don't have to worry about them the rest of the flight. So let's start with uh, black box virtual. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, we could have. Um, use the charter or the scheduling process to find a flight, but we already bid the flight, so we just have to go to flights, click on the flight, and click fly. One of my favorite functions here about Black Box Virtual is the sim brief option. Um, I could put all this information in manually, or I can hit sim brief and load it right from sim brief. My route, my plan, my fuel. Um, uh, takeoff fuel is here. It doesn't load into the plane. We're going to have to take care of that <clears throat> based on your simulator. But uh, it, it um, puts in the correct plane um, and, and flight level for the flight. <clears throat> so at this part, uh, at this point, I mean, you just hit start and boom, you're good. Uh, we will be increasing the fuel, uh, but that's okay. Um, as long as you don't increase the fuel after you already started your taxi or your pushback, everything is fine. Um, but I generally just start this right away and there'll be a small fuel change um, based on your simulator. Uh, everybody has a different process for that. Um, the next thing that we need to do is start the V pilot. Start that right away. Just get it out of the way so you don't forget. And you're not flying through the air um, without black box working or the, um, the uh, V pilot. So anyway, the first thing we do is we connect. The next thing is we want to do our flight plan. So uh, what we did, and I've got a center coming on, so but that's OK, because I'm not going to be flying anywhere today for, for now, at least for this demo. Uh, the next thing is we want to load um, the current flight. So I'm going to click Load. And there it is, generated from the SimBrief downloader. I'm going to open it, and the only thing that doesn't get set right, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got a small call, is the um, uh, departure time. So right now it's 14.15. Actually, it's not too bad, um, but generally I'd set that. I figure we'll be going off at about 14.35, so I'm going to put that in there. And the only other thing I do here, because everything else has already been loaded, is I put fly delta virtual com and then we file it now since I'm online and I'm not really going to do this flight well maybe I will be doing this flight after the video so I'm going to say file now my my plan is filed okay and that concludes the demo for today uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the presentation uh, thanks for flying with fly Delta virtual and keep climbing bye bye